So in this video, we're going to be covering how we convert a low pass filter to a high pass filter. Okay, so we'll start off with this low pass filter, which is a five pole filter with two sections, right? So you've got a three pole filter here and you've got two pole filter here. So the values that you see here are actually from the Butterworth normalized active um, low pass filter values from the table. So to convert this fairly large low pass filter, it's quite easy to do. You just have to think about it in terms of what's the difference between a low pass filter and a high pass filter. Just take a simple one, right? So if we take a simple low pass filter, we've got a resistor, we've got a capacitor, it goes to ground, and we've got our V out here, right? We've got V in, V out. How do we go from this, which is a low pass filter, right? LPF to a high pass filter. Well, you should know, you literally just swap these around, right? So. A high pass filter would be a capacitor here with a resistor going to ground and then V out here, right? So you can see the main difference being that these two are swapped around. So it literally is as simple as just swapping each one of these capacitors and resistors for capacitors and resistors. It's literally as simple as that, right? So we've got one, two, three, four, five resistors and one, two, three, four, five capacitors. Hence, it's a five pole low pass filter right so now let's just redraw this circuit but we're going to do it with so for example here we're going to swap this resistor for a capacitor and we're going to swap this capacitor for a resistor as you can see from here we've swapped now the resistors for capacitors and capacitors for resistors now the last step and it's it's literally is this simple the last step is just to calculate the value. So the values that we've got here for the resistors being one ohms and the capacitors, we've gotten these from the Butterworth table. So the way that we're going to convert these now, just two very, very simple formulas. So the capacitor for the high pass filter HPF is equal. The value is going to be one over the resistance for the low pass filter. So since our, all of our uh, all of our resistors in this particular filter are one ohm, right? So it's literally just going to be one over one, which is going to equal one farad pass. So all of our capacitors up here, they're all going to have a value of one farad. So this is obviously bef these are the normalized values before they're scaled, right? One farad, one farad. That's it. Okay. Now we just need to find the resistor values, which again, super, super easy. So the resistor value for the high pass filter is equal to one over the capacitor for the low pass filter. And that's it. It literally is that easy. So if we take for example here, which is our technically our first resistor here, we've got a capacitor value of 1.753. So our value here is going to be one over 1.753, which is going to be equal to, let's get our calculator. One over 1.753. That gives us 0 0.57. So we can come over here and say that our resistance here is going to be 0 0.57 ohms. Let's do this resistor here now. So we've got 1.354. So 1 over 1.354, and that gives us 0 0.738. We'll go 0 0.74, 0 0.74, and literally just do the same thing again for the rest of these. So this resistor here is 0 0.4214, so that gives us 2.38. Now last two, we've got 3.235, 0 0.31. And finally, we've got 0 0.309. That gives us 3.24. And that's it. So now we have all of the resistors and all of the capacitor values for our new high pass filter. And these are our normalized uh, values before they've been scaled. So likewise, for this low pass filter here, these were before they're scaled. And likewise, for this high pass filter now, before they're scaled. So these two. So this here is the low pass filter and this here is our normalized high pass filter and that's it like i said super super simple